Hi friends, Mrs. Clark here, and I've come to talk to you about Second Step. Your families can go on to secondstep.com and learn all about strategies for early learning. And this week, it's our 10th card. We are going to talk about same or different feelings. And the story card, I have, I have two friends, all right, Marissa and Chantel, and you will see them enjoying their bike on the playground, okay? They're riding the same bike. Chantel is in the front, pedaling the bike fast, right? So this is Chantel. And Marissa is riding in the back. Focus your attention on the photo. What is the same about Chantel and Marissa? So can you look? Let's see what things are the same in this card. Both girls are wearing their coats and they are both riding the bike. They have the same hair color and they look about the same age, right? They are both wearing helmets, right? So if you guessed some of those, pat your head, good job, or kiss your brain, good job. But focus on your Focus your attention on the photo again. What is different or not the same about Marissa and Chantel? Look at Chantel's face. How do you think she's feeling? Ooh, I see her teeth and her eyes look all lit up and, and they look beaming. Like she looks like she's having so much fun. But now look at Marissa's face. How do you think she's feeling? If you guessed she is scared, right? Pat your head or kiss your ring because you're so smart, right? She looks a little scared, but not Chantel. She's excited and happy, right? Marissa is feeling afraid or scared. She is not feeling happy. And sometimes we think people feel the same way we do. But today you learn people can have different feelings about the same thing. So they're both on the bike, but they're feeling something very different. So now let's use our problem solving brains. You can do it because you are amazing problem solvers. What could Marissa say to Chantel? What could she say? Right? She could tell her to slow down, right? She could use her words and say, slow down, right? That's too fast. Or I don't like it, right? I'm scared. Please stop, right? And they could talk about it. And then maybe Chantel would go a lot slower or... If she wasn't willing to, maybe Marissa could just get off and walk away and do something different on the playground, right? There looks like there's some choices in the background here, right? There's a climber. She could do that. She could walk around. She could run around, right? So it's important to use your voice, okay? Your words are important, very important, and you need to use them so that you feel safe. Right, because she's in the front. She doesn't know that Marissa's scared. So Marissa has to tell her. Right, friends? So, same or different? Right? All right. Well, I hope that you learned something from our 10th card today. And if your families want more helpful information on early learning, or problem solving, or feelings, they can go to secondstep.com. All right, have a good day. Bye, friends.